haven't felt that way in a long time. And so, uh, you know, like I said, my assets have been under really, really good control for really since law school. Um, I haven't been to a hospital for my asthma. So yeah, I, it was a feeling that I had not felt in a very long time. And um, you know, the lightheadedness and not being able to catch my breath was what really got me after I took the rescue inhaler. And so, you know, that's what concerned me and I wanted to make sure that, you know, what I was feeling is what I thought I was feeling. And, and when they got me here, they took care of me and it, and it turned out to be fine. How do you feel now? I feel great now. I'm a little tired. People have raised concern about your weight being a health issue as well. Do you feel that that exacerbates the asthma? And is it a concern you talked about before the? Listen, the I think, time? Ginger, as I think the weight exacerbates everything. You know, I've been pretty candid about that right from, you know, the start of my public career. So, you know, um, I worked out with my trainer yesterday morning, um, like I do three days a week, and we're working on that. And been losing weight, as a number of you have noted to me. So it's going to be a process. I didn't get here overnight. I'm not going to lose all the weight overnight either. I've done that before too, and I gained it all back. So, um, so we try to do this in a really slow, responsible way. Um, so I'm sure, Ginger, that um, you know my uh, my asthma doctors always told me, like all my other doctors have told me, that the lighter I am, the healthier I'll be. And so I'm sure it affects it. Although I got to tell you the truth, I don't think it had any effect on today. I think it's much more about kind of the atmosphere this week. You know, it's been very humid and. and in these really humid hot times, that tends to make asthmatics labor a little bit more. The air is really thick and it's just a lot more difficult to breathe.